Hey girl, I wanted to share with you guys a look that I have wanted to wear for so long. I didn't have the edges to really achieve it, but now I do. So here's how I did it. First, I parted my hair from ear to ear and I decided to braid out the back. I had my hair up in braids for quite a while prior to trying to achieve this particular look but anyway all you have to do is uh, so here you see me combing it out but anyway so I decided to braid the back section of my hair now you can achieve you can still get the same results if you twist the back of your hair or decide to just do a plaid or even a uh, low ponytail but I decided to braid mine in three braids and Here's the wig I am going to be using. It's an old cheap lace front wig that I almost threw away. And um, it has the three combs in the front and all that good stuff. So I decided to try this look out on my hair. Um, try this look out using this particular wig because it looks so natural. And I hadn't wore this in a while. So here I am putting the wig on and just making sure it is secure and, and getting the combs and everything in place. And I'm really, really nervous. This is my very first time trying this look. And I'm so glad I recorded it. I'm showing you guys the X, uh, the bobby pins in the X formation. Because I found out um, when you secure your wigs using the X um, installation method on your wig, it actually secures really, really, really really secure tight in place so that's what I'm doing right here and I am pushing that bad baby in and making sure it's secure and tugging on and there it is it really does work guys so now at this particular point um, you just part out or pull out a section of the wig the top portion you do not have to be concerned about whether it is part right or whether it's you know just politically correct when it comes to um, how it looks as far as the part is concerned because you want it to look natural so um, I'm just sectioning it off and putting this front part aside and now I'm getting ready to take a little portion of the hair from right behind the back of the ear if you can see and separating just a small section to pull up into the ponytail this is going to give you an extra added secure hold for your wig as well and it's going to hide the wig part so it'll keep your secret secret <laughs> nobody can see the track or where the wig begins so um, I'm loving how I um, discovered this particular method on YouTube and I'll include the channel of the female that I got this from this idea from so anyway here I'm pulling my hair all together as you can see up into the ponytail up in the headband the hair kept falling out the top so I just clipped it under my chin I was like okay it's just uh, it's just doing too much so I'm getting it um, my hair together and securing it and so I'm pulling the sides up now to put it into my ponytail and you guys this look was really really um, so cute I think in the end as you can see in the picture in the front and y'all let me know what you think but I really enjoy this particular look I usually don't wear um, hair off my forehead but I wanted to do a high puff high ponytail up down look for so long and those of you that's been following me know that my edges have been giving me the most uh, problems <laughs> And I have been fighting and working and doing all kind of things to get my edges uh, back in where I can wear looks like this. And I'm there. So here I'm showing you guys them edges. Um, colored edge control. I love this stuff. I really don't have to use it. But I love it because it really, really holds very well. I don't know what's in it. But I love this stuff. So I'm applying some of the um, colored edge controls. Dim edges, girl on my hairline just to uh, to get everything kind of neatly um, combed down and smooth getting them edges done girl so what I decided to do at this particular point I'm still working on um, getting my hair uh, my edges laid and everything looking right um, showing you guys a clip of my hair on the side y'all see how much my hair has grown 
and um, this is onion water yeah this is onion water and we'll talk about that in another video but now I'm getting ready to add some Gorilla Glue because for some reason my curls just kept lifting my hair just wasn't acting right so I pointed some extra secure hold on it and I just smoothed that Gorilla Glue down on it and worked it in to make the edges in my hair really blend with this wig and with this look and there we go so I'm done at this particular point and um, we're adding a little bit more <laughs> and just a little bit more to secure it down but I'm really liking how this look and y'all don't know for a lot of you ladies uh, those of you who may not have been following my channel in a while this is a big deal for me I have really, really, really been on a journey to grow my edges and get my hairline back and I'm there so this is a big deal for me. So here we are, um, there we are. I'm at right there, got my edges all secure and laid down for y'all and off the video, off camera, I tied it down with the scarf to get it really, really slick down and right here I'm showing you guys that you can actually wear this in a couple of ways. Uh, this is a high puff. I was trying to decide how I was going to wear my hair. This is the high puff uh, or high bun. And um, so I was still trying to figure out, but isn't that cute? It is so cute. It blended so well. There's another shot of it. And I was like, okay, I think I'm liking this. I'm liking this. But um, <laughs> still, I'm like, I don't know. I just don't know what I'm going to do. But this is how I ended up wearing it. Of course, as you saw in the front. And this is um, this is uh, my finishing look. And so my makeup done and everything. This is how my hair turned out. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your prayers. Be blessed. Talk to y'all later. Bye.